everybody. I had a viewer request for a review and overview on my ATV. So here it is. A 2016 Suzuki King Quad. I bought this in Maryland. It was a dealer leftover. And I got it earlier this spring, I think March. Yeah, March of this year, 2017. And it's the Suzuki King Quad 750 AXI. It does not have power steering. When I bought it, it had 10 hours, I believe, on it and 20 miles. Dealership said it was a demo used on the lot. And the price I got it for was $49.99. Brand new, they're just a hair close to $7,000. So I got it basically $2,000 off. So far, I now have 98 miles on it. 18.9 hours. Yeah, 98 miles and 18.9 hours. So in eight hours of riding, I put 70 some miles on it. It is fuel injected. And it uh, is 4x4, four four, obviously. 4x4, four four, says it right there. It has a high range and a low range for the automatic transmission. It has push button four wheel drive, and then it has a front differential lock, which I have used, and it does work very well. The big change in the model year was they got rid of the center headlight. So now you have just the two headlights in the front. You can actually buy, I believe it's 2015 or 2014, you can buy that assembly and basically it's plug and play. So that was one way they said that they could keep the cost down was by eliminating a light. Okay, I don't really know that it was that expensive to keep the cost down to begin with, but whatever. It does have a 12 volt cigarette lighter style outlet. It does have a dry storage pocket, which is where I keep my documents. The other big change from previous model years, apparently it was near impossible to check the oil because you had to remove a whole bunch of the plastic um, trim. So now they have it that you can just check your oil right there very easy it is belt driven under the seat here apparently I have that off for the battery tender apparently there is pre-existing connections for a winch I haven't seen where, but my understanding is when you run the wires for a winch, there's supposed to be a place where it just plugs in, but I don't see it. So that could be wrong. It's what you get for reading the internet. <laughs> a seat's very comfortable not a real heavy machine but it does have some weight to it the fuel injection is really nice just for the sake of starting and not having to use a choke so we turn it on you can hear the fuel pump prime green means go and there it is it is a pretty quiet machine overall. But it has to be for the environmental protection regulations. 
Here's how you turn your headlights on. There's low beams. There's high beams. Kill switch. Turn that off so I can talk. This is an override button where if you're in reverse and you want to go faster than what the four-wheeler has you limited at, press the override button and you can go as fast as you want in reverse. I do not have any of the front bumpers on it. I do not have a winch on it yet. I do not have a snow plow for it. Basically, I bought it just to go ride the trails. Now, I should definitely have a winch because that's a no-brainer. If you're gonna go ride trails, you need to have a winch. I mean, what if someone else was stuck and you're there? Well, I can't help you because I don't have a winch. Up here is where you check your coolant. That gives you access to the radiator cap. check your coolant reservoir you just get under here and it's the white kind of canister right there on the side of the radiator all of the shocks are adjustable for a stiffer ride or a softer ride here is where you put fuel in Twenty-five by eight by twelve. And the rears are somewhere. Twenty-five by ten by twelve for the rear. Overall, I've had no issues with this since I got it. Starts every time, it runs great. There was a recall for these, for the charging of it. Apparently the stator, stator, however you say that, which is basically an alternator on ATVs and motorcycles, did not put out enough voltage to properly charge the battery. So people would be out riding, it would shut off and they wouldn't be able to start it. That was a recall issued February of this year, I believe, maybe even January, for the 2016 model. And mine was already taken care of before I bought it. You can see here, it's very easy to mount the winch plate. The tabs are already there for the bolts. You can buy aftermarket power steering for these and retrofit it. I just don't think it's worth it. The power steering option 
on a brand new one is close to two thousand dollars worth of an add-on you can buy an aftermarket kit for about a thousand still not interested in spending that kind of money just for power steering so yeah this is it 2016 Suzuki King Quad 750 AXI 4x4. If you have any other suggestions for video, anything you'd like to see, anything you don't want to see, just go ahead and leave it in the comments. Um, I take your recommendations seriously because I want to make a good channel. It's that F-150 guy. If you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that. Give me a big thumbs up, share my videos, and we'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.